know, she got an ice scoop of a coochie. Like, that's not, that's, that's not, not how you see y'all getting a B rating. Come on, son. <laughs> you getting a B rating? <laughs> Niggas would be I'm gladly going to a B rating. I'm, yo, my favorite joint, uh, Dream, I'm even going to say her name because I want to blow it up. What What's good, y'all? Just for Kicks 212 here, and I'm back with another video, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Box. I'm expecting a package from the homie. I don't want to say his name because I don't know if he wants me to. I, I don't want to get him in trouble or I just don't want niggas just beasting in his inbox and shit like that. But he looked out on this pickup um, just because I couldn't um, actually get it from my mobile phone that was at work at the time. And he looked out and the homie always looks out on premium items. So let's go pick that up. Um, I'm expecting another package. I don't know if it's there yet because the mailman be fucking with me. That shit was supposed to be here yesterday. It's not here. I haven't been recording steadily like I have. I've been looking for the right light, like I said in the last video, so I can do the segment that I want to do, that it could be a daily thing. And then I don't really gotta do these kind of like vlog shits, even though I will, it'll be like, these will probably be like once, maybe twice a week. But the, the actual segment I'm trying to do is gonna be a daily thing. I hear the ice cream truck, nigga. You hear that nigga over there? Look at him. I don't know if you can see him. He's in the pink joint. That nigga dropped too fast for me though. I ain't chasing this nigga for ice cream. Anyway, so your boy got the package right here. I'm hyped to open it up. Check it out. Um, I don't know if I should. I'm not going to open it up here. I'm going to wait till we get to the crib. Um, what you think it is? Because <laughs> if, 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 if you're an avid collector of what this is, you would know what this bag is. If, if you buy this a lot, you know what this is. Because he didn't even re, he didn't even repackage it. He just put his label over it and then transferred it over to me. So... What do you think is in here if you know what this is? If you know this bag right here, what do you think it is? By the way, shout out to my man based over here with the Fat Kid Mafia joint right here. Got the penguin. Got on some Nike shorts and some threes, nothing crazy. Again, I'm trying to get my lighting right. Um, this three light shit ain't really working for me. I, don't get me wrong, I like how it looks. Like you see, like it looks clear and shit like that, but I gotta stand right here for it to be super duper, you feel me, like clarity like that. If not, when I step back, First off, you see this fucking shadow that I fucking hate. Like, I hate this shit so much. And then, I don't know why, it just don't look right to me. So, new lights coming soon, segment coming soon, whenever fucking Amazon decides to deliver my shit. But yeah, package, let's open it up real quick before we move on to the next thing. I just wanted to do this on the lights so you can see what it is. This shit is Young Premington. Appreciate you, homie. Ooh, let's see what I got in here. Damn, he got a lot of, he got a lot of good shit. My nigga, this, yo, this is my nigga right here. Yo, shout out to you. I don't want to say your name because I don't know if I'm allowed to, but shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you. First off, I got the Prime toothbrush, right? Supreme toothbrush right here, right? So you already know what week this is from. If you a real Prime head, you know what, what week this is from. I got the, ooh, I got the Altered States of America, you know, right here. The one zillion dollar bill, you feel me? Let's see if it'll... Yeah, there you go. Yo, they gave this dude mad fucking stickers. These niggas give me always a box logo sticker. Ooh, you got the Supreme, you know what I mean? Ooh! I always called this the Marge Simpson, even though that's not the fucking name. I always forget the name. Gons or something like that. Next one. Ooh! Supreme. See Shorty in the background? This one's a little creepy. I don't know. We Definitely gonna use it, though. Ooh! The shit sticker. You see that joint right there, shit sticker? And last but not least, which I'm surprised he got, cause almost, not to say almost nobody got him, but. Ooh -hoo! He got the, uh, I don't even know what they call it, the up, the up raised, the raised box logo. I, I don't know how to describe this one. This one, it's textured, it's not like a regular sticker. It is actually like, it's pretty thick, no homo. Um, Son, thank you, bro. Thank you. This means a lot. This this sticker alone means a lot. If, if y'all don't know, I do sticker boards. I'll probably show y'all real quick like this. This this one's dope. This one's crazy. Last but not least, the pickup, which I wasn't able to, I, which I wasn't able to secure just because I was at work at the time. I was trying to do it from my phone. I ain't had no Wi-Fi. Like shit didn't work out. So, woo, Heather Gray Nas T in a large, bro. Look at this joint right here. Matter of fact, let me open it real quick. 
Bam! You got the Supreme Nas T. Now, <clears throat> if y'all know, obviously I'm from New York. This tea means a lot to me. There is one problem I noticed immediately taking this out the packaging. If you buy Supreme, you already know the problem I'm gonna say. I was already aware of it previously just because I buy a lot of Supreme shit. Nothing on the back, whatever, right? You can check the tags real quick. Just in case y'all niggas right here. You know what I mean? You got the Nas T right there. This year, this season, excuse me, Supreme is doing a, a different type of t-shirt. I don't know if you niggas even know that. But uh, the t-shirt is humongous compared to every other season they've ever done, which has been the same t-shirt. If you remember earlier in the year, uh, niggas was finding uh, blank Supreme tees and Marshall and shit like that, and fucking Ross and all those kind of stores. The reason being is Supreme dumped those t-shirts because they're not using them no more for none of their stuff. And uh, that's why you were finding those blank tees. Those were the tees they was using to make fucking t-shirts. Now, whatever brand they're using now, these shirts are fucking humongous. I'm, I buy Supreme large all the time. Whenever you see me in a Supreme shirt, it's in a large. This large is gonna fit me like an extra, maybe a double XL, which is fucking insane. So now you're telling me, excuse me, Supreme is now telling me, technically, I gotta go buy a medium or possibly a small. I won't even dare go to a small, but possibly a medium. Now, this is the next fucking dilemma about buying a fucking medium or a fucking small on Supreme. Again, if you purchase Supreme, you already know how difficult it is to try to purchase something. For those people who do not know, trying to cop a small or a medium on Supreme is nearly impossible, especially a small. And the reason being is they don't make a lot of them and for whatever reason, smalls always go for the most money. I don't know why. Maybe because hype beasts are small, tiny little kids and those are the niggas who are shelling out that bread. But that is usually the case. The small sizes usually go for the most amount of money. Buying a small on Supreme is like nearly impossible just because of that reason. All the resellers go for the smallest size. It's easiest to sell and... Ugh, that is going to be my dilemma now. Look, look, look at it already on me. Look, bro. This shit is hum... I don't even know how to describe it. This t-shirt is humongous. It's definitely an extra large, maybe a double XL. I don't know if I should throw it in the dryer. Call it a day. Hopefully the best thing happens for it. I don't know. But yeah, let's keep it moving, bro. Do any of y'all who actually buy Prime and uh, just buy streetwear in general know how to shrink clothing? I know that you're going to say, go check YouTube, shit like that. Is there a definite way? I do not want to ruin this t-shirt for no reason. Someone down, someone gives me a medium, and I'll give them my large. I'm willing to do that. But if there's an actual way I can get this shrunk down for sure without ruining it, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Hit me up on all my social media, just for kicks 212 Cause I want this fucking tea to wear. This shit is flames, flames, flames. All right, YouTube, I am going to Walmart. I need to pick up a few things real quick. Sorry, I never got back to you. This is technically me getting back to you. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I had nothing else to say after that. I was gonna show you some shoes, but it was like, nah, I don't wanna go in the closet <laughs> and uh, find that. But we go to Walmart, hopefully we see some things. I'm also probably gonna go to Ale House. I'm kind of hungry, I want a Zinger Mountain Melt. You probably don't know what that is. And yeah. Come on, let's go. Do you guys think a zebra and maybe something else for undefeated? You think that's, you think that's a fair trade? I don't know. Or should I just sell the zebra, get the bread? Cause this is my own personal pair. I'm probably never gonna wear them because again, y'all niggas know how I feel about Yeezys. I just kept it cause it's probably the best colorway out of them. But um, I don't know, like I want that 9.7 guys. What? what? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna get those fucking 9.7s, whatever I gotta do. I'm not shelling out, shelling out that much bread. That's not what's happening. But will a zebra and maybe something else cause I know they more, they more than zebras. We'll cover it. Or maybe two Yeezys. There's another Yeezy drop and I can definitely get it. Maybe both of those. 497. Is that fair? The undefeated green joints? I don't know. You guys let me know out there. I got some Ale House right here. I'm about to eat. I'm about to listen to a podcast and watch TV at the same time. And th that's pretty much it. My life is simple. Yo, if you guys got stickers or anything like that, feel free to uh, let me know. I purchase stickers. I, I appreciate stickers when people send them to me. I put them in a frame or for people that do know. I do boards as well. Follow me on all my social media, Just for Kicks 212 on Instagram, Twitter, 
YouTube, uh, Snap. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell below. That's what you're supposed to say, right? Subscribe, hit the bell below. Um, there'll be more content. Obviously, I'm looking for those cameras still. So if I find those cameras, I'm saying cameras. I mean lights. Why am I saying camera? I'm, I gotta get those lights so I get that segment popping. I know y'all niggas are gonna feel that shit. Um, Kobe said what up. Kobe just chilling in the crib. LeBron chilling in the crib. Look, this nigga's like, you the one, B. You the one. And I am on my way to the Hove concert. You already know what it is, B. And... I don't think I have anything else to say. Let's just get to it. I'm about to meet my homegirl I haven't seen in years. She got married, she had a baby. Shit crazy how time flies, but I'm a, I think I'm going the right way. So yeah, let's keep this walk. She's, she's at 204. I think she's with her husband. Let's just be mad loud. Vic is performing. Niggas don't, not, not to say niggas don't want to see Vic, but niggas ain't here for Vic. Niggas here for hope. Wow. I don't even hear you. I'm at 208, I think. I'm at 208. I, I see you, I see you. <laughs> How you been? Oh, look at I just wanted to show you guys a pickup that I got. My boy looked out for me. Um, if, you, if you follow me on IG, just for kicks 212. Uh, and maybe on Twitter I posted it. But definitely if you follow me on there, uh, you already know. I got a pair of Yeezys, Beluga 2.0s. You know, at this point, I just collect these things. Like, I don't even wear none of my V2s. I have, like, every single V2 except for, like, uh, what, what's the fucking neon joint that just came out? I don't got that joint. Um... Just like the ones that they make stupid hard to get, which I don't think any of the V2s were stupid hard to get, except for that one, that uh, that Volt one. So, I have almost every single V2, and I've never wore any of them, just because I, I think you look like a duck when you wear Yeezy V2s. The original 350, I, I will never understand why they stopped that model. That was way better than this bullshit. The regular 350 is better than the V2 350. That's just my opinion about it. Here's the shoe. Y'all got seen this shit a million times. Y'all don't gotta see this. My nigga, <clears throat> my plan one day is not to sell them, is to trade them for things that I do want. So my plan, I get them all in the same size. I get 11 and a half, because I'm an 11 and these shits run small, um, is to eventually just trade it off to for something that I want, a set of something that I want, because I'm going to try to keep it as a set and get a bunch of shit that I want. That's the plan. That's the plan with all my Yeezys. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because I'm not going to stand in front of a fucking green screen or a white wall or anything like that um, to show you my pickup because every I'm pretty sure there's like a million Yeezy videos right now on the internet. S subscribe to the channel, bro. S subscribe to the channel. You're going to see Yeezys all kind of rare. Well, not even rare. This was not rare. This was a very this was a very GR. But um, you will see a bunch of shit that uh, other channels ain't doing. I don't show normal shit. You feel me? I, sh I show some other shit. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. Press that bell so you get notifications when I drop shit. It's pretty simple, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something right now. 
obviously. Um, but yeah, I'll holler at you guys later just for kicks. Two, one, two, one.